turned 29, Decisive Campaigns Barbarossa. We're back, and there's a lot going on. It's been, I don't know, about a week since I played last from uh, my point of view, and this Leningrad thing is really weird. I'm tempted to just go straight for the, um, straight for the city, and... Uh, How's their, their entrenchment's pretty good over here, right? And this, there's 74 there. Their, their entrenchment is kind of insane. I don't know. But. We can just block them off. Can't we? Probably better to attack these guys. Let's see. Yeah, we're way overpowered, so... Should we have the Finns do it? I don't know. They're going to be on Blitzkrieg. The Finns I kind of want to minimize, I think. Like that. There's... There's just not enough... I don't know. 74? Are you kidding me? Like, these guys can't... Can't attack? I don't know. Ah. Oh. I see. I see. <clears throat> I was, uh... I was looking at the wrong people. Okay, I'm not attacking Leningrad yet. I'm surrounding it, and then I'm going to destroy it. Okay. So there's 98 here. Okay. So we want to tone this down, and tone this down... Try that. Now I'm curious as to where they went. Good. That was good math for us. Let's get you up here. All right. I think we can take them out. I don't see why not. So, who's got the best readiness here? The 4th Division is what we'll attack from the north with. Okay. And... Got a couple Panzer Divisions. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we ought to get to some insane numbers here. All right, it looks like we can't go above 500. Like 20, I don't really want to go over. The option I have is this. Okay. I think we're going to take it. Let's see. I'm a little scared to look at the numbers. <laughs> okay. We lost 850 people. They lost 12,000. And we've taken Leningrad. Woo! So I'm going to start thinking defensively as of this moment. <laughs> you know, it's, it's something we've got to do. Ooh, I could maybe cut these guys off. Now that's interesting. Uh, 18th Infantry. If I could just get one of them to go up here into this hex up here, I could lock them off. All right, is that everyone? Yeah, you can't go anywhere else. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and you're you're out of it for whatever reason. Okay, maybe. Nope. I don't want to keep that bridge. Huh. 
How far can Fourth Panzer go? Out here, pretty much. What are we doing for fuel? We're, we're running a little lower on fuel than I'd like to be. That's curious. Uh, we'll park there. So we got a bunch of enemies in here. Hmm. Oh, we can't really. Hit him with as much as I'd like. Yeah, that's that's insane. Um, they can't get out though. This is the thing. It's pretty well defended. All right. There's 262. Pretty big stacks here. And we can't hit them with as much as I would like. Um, I think I'm going to wait. As much as it bugs me, and I don't want to, I think I'm going to wait. And we'll see. They they could really mess this stack up if they wanted. But then where would they go? I think they'll just sit there and do nothing. We'll see. Alright, I'm going to double up over there. Because... I can't do anything here. So we've got this bridge. I feel that's important. We've got these guys surrounded up here with the friends and even more so down here. I just don't think we have the attack power. I mean, yeah, we've got 500. There, there would be a slaughter here. I'd rather wait a turn and, uh, you know, knock down their, their readiness levels and all their supply and all that. These guys, they could technically escape. They might be able to get across the river. At that point, I'd probably be able to spend, send the motorized divisions around in front of them, provided it doesn't snow, <laughs> which it might. <laughs> it might. Let's see. So, uh, Novigrad here. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to surround the city with some troops from 4th Panzer, but it's not happening. Oh. Now they've got probably really good entrenchment. Well, that's 70, but 110. And the garrison's in there at 150. So I really do have to collect this hex. And I'm not ready to yet. I'm just not ready to. I don't have enough attack power to do it. Down here, I really wonder. How far are you? Okay, there... They're on the way. <laughs> they help, but I'm going to attack. I should have looked at the readiness level of those two divisions, but uh, from the 16th Army, yeah. We, we paid a small price for that. It's not too bad. I think I'm just going to leave it. What I can do is move you way up here. And you guys, of course, are going to want to go in the wrong direction. There we are. Our supply is still not quite right up here, and I'm not sure why. Uh, readiness levels are not awful. I cannot. Can you get somewhere useful? Not really. Okay, well... I'm going to beat on this guy. Okay. 
Okay. So now we're not quite as far out. We can attack them again. Good. Remember, kids, a broken division is a dead division. It can never bother us again. And that's what I'm interested in. I think we'll pull these guys back towards Kalin. We'll see. Nothing is uh, is bothering us at the... Moscow line. <laughs> Such as it is. Nothing's really happening. Uh, I am interested in this. They did duck out here. It's, it's going to be very possible to run around and grab these. This stack. Uh... Yeah, let's get our guys up from here. We have a lot of fuel. And let's just drive them on out of here. It's amazing how far they can go, isn't it? can't go any closer to the action which is unfortunate I want him to be closer to the action <clears throat> I think we're gonna kind of give up this area here and leave it to fourth army uh, to stretch out a little bit and this river will be a good barrier as well uh, okay Start punching holes. Good, good. That gave us 2,600 in a dead division for free. Our supply is not that good on this side. Get our other panzer unit out there. Now, when we go to attack, we are double. That's a city, huh? Which city? Tula, huh? Um, interesting. Well. These are all very weak divisions. I'm not attacking them with very much. That cavalry, yeah, might survive. <clears throat> that did not go well for us. Hmm. How's our entrenchment? Basically nothing. Their entrenchment is 150. Theirs is zero. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I don't think two tank divisions is going to be enough. I don't really want to send more either. Down there though. Hmm. Uh, I'm annoyed and I'm throwing good money after bad and uh, I did it just because I wanted to eliminate them and I did and it didn't cost us too much but I wouldn't recommend doing what I just did <laughs> don't don't do what Danny don't does okay uh, can we park Des Reich yeah can we go after these guys and hit him where it hurts. No. <laughs> no one can attack. Okay. I want that bridge still.
And we're just spreading out a little bit here. Boy, that's not useful. If I could have gotten the motorized division down there, though, to attack the 32nd headquarters, I definitely would have. All right, I think the next move is somewhere over here with 2nd Army. I really would like to envelop this, which means I've got to get through this. Possibly this. Okay, good. Oh, he's a little worried. It's the 31st and 167th. Yeah, might as well. Really beat him up. Yeah. Alright. And we're just compressing. That's all we're doing. Is compressing. Okay, we broke another division. That did cost us. I, I do expect these battles to cost. I don't expect them to be free. Sixty. Boy, we just can't get into that swamp. Hmm. It's <laughs> so difficult to uh, to get them to attack, huh? Anything? I don't know. I sure hope they don't escape. That that annoys me. How much longer are you guys on rest and refit? One more turn. Eight days. Two days. Two turns. Trenchment seventy. Trenchment 70. I don't know. I think I'm going to hit him with what I've got because it's use it or lose it. It's not really enough. Hmm. I was hoping it would be enough. This, this happens a lot in this game. You need just one more unit to seal it off and it can't quite get the job done. Huh. Well, would you look at that? I just had to send them through uh, enemy territory is all. <laughs> That's interesting. I'm going to double up on that and uh, move this down here. And get a little frightened about what they might do next because... Uh, If they bust out this way, I don't think they will because there's no... What's the upside to it, right? That they are much more likely to try and come out this way to rejoin the other forces here. This is a problem. Right next to our resting guys. I wish I had a way of uh, helping them. I see no point in taking Oral. They gotta start thinking about backing off here. It's so tempting to go after these divisions, you know? So tempting. How much room have I got? You're way up there now. I've placed the 258th as my anchor. Thing is, I can do so much damage. Ooh, there's a Western Headquarters there. That's a juicy target right there, all by its lonesome. What a shame I have no one to get there quickly enough. 
Oops. Alright. Before I waste any more firepower on it. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm surprised those units lived. guys as hard as I can. You know, we're doing damage, but it's not really getting the results that I want. And I can't follow up and hit him again. And that's unfortunate. Alright, let's double up. I think we're okay in this area for the most part. I am happy about this encirclement. There's other stuff here though that I really want to grab and it's kind of difficult to do. These guys are doing a lot. Alright, so we're having a... Uh, I'm just going to attack them with the mountain division. Oh, well, would you look at that. I see a tank division about to go away. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they're having supply trouble over here. That's a curious thing. Because they shouldn't. Let us end this division, this so-called 277th Infantry Division. It's gone from this earth now. And that's good. I'm just going to leave you there, bud. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. We'll get, we'll get some more 17th Army down here real quick. I just have to finish the squishing. What is going on with first panzers? Fuel supply situation here, wow. Alright, so first we're just going to cut them off. I deliberately did not include the Romanians in the assault. Alright, now we're gonna finish these suckers off. Up here. Hmm. Alright, well, rule one. Uh, the whole southern command is going to get deleted here. <laughs> Which I find kind of fun. Yeah, so let's not include the Romanians. Can we do any more attacking? Yes. Eh, it's not good. This bit. I've got to wait. What is going on? Where did you come from? Huh. Are you out of command? You are. Bitching and moaning the entire way. Okay, well, let's go there. 
How far can you go out? And we just eliminated them entirely. Alright, so we're outside command range here, but I have carefully designed it so that I can get back in <laughs> just by attacking. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Uh, and that solves that problem. Once 6th Army can wake up, they can cross and come over here and start guarding this area. And that will release 1st Panzer entirely to proceed fully to the southeast. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is eliminate this remainder of this southern group here. I don't know, I feel like the, the Romanians should be included just for firepower's sake, even though they reduced the percentages we did lose. <laughs> Why are they not good? Why? We lost not 10%, but seven eight percent something like that why i mean well our guys were losing 600 out of thirty thousand, and we took out thirty two thousand thereabouts of the enemy so that's cool so that whole army group that was around here is just completely gone now i am happy to say What I wish we had was somebody who could tuck around this other side here. That's good. Okay. So Vikings have no more attack power. I'm sending a couple Panzer divisions in after these guys. And we did eliminate them. Okay. So we took out another command. That's all right. So th these are our anchors. We'll, we'll it'll probably take another turn. Um, how far can we go out? We can go this far. So we can be helpful. God, I said I wasn't going to go to Kharkov. <laughs> I said it in Kursk. But uh, looks like I'm headed that way. And that's a real bothersome thing. All right, let's get everyone... Heading in the right direction. Anybody else left there? Okay, that's fine. Crossing the river is fine here. Any other? Just these guys. All right, and I can easily move up to here. Right, third Romanian. Oh, why are we crossing the river? And I know the reason is because we fought. <laughs> Not what I want. Okay, fourth Romanians. Looks like we got a couple new divisions here. That's nice. So, what will we do with them? We'll move them over here. everyone ah. all right so now I'm at a point where I'm like what do I want people to do 
And ultimately what I'd really like is for First Panzer to come zooming down around here and cut off all these guys and take this city, right? Uh, which is in the news again today. Very interesting to do the, uh, to play the game and see the names of these, these cities in Ukraine, right? Uh, all over again. I'm just going to bolster that. Trenchman 100. Uh, you know, and, and like, what's the point, right? I'd rather just cut them off by coming around here in the east and uh, uh, cutting off all these guys. So 11th Army doesn't have to do very much right now. I'd just rather leave them there. In fact, I'd rather you came down here. So that's everybody. And I can actually come down here to where it's a little more desirable for the headquarters to be. <clears throat> so we'll move the Romanians in this direction. Uh, hmm. That's curious. I mean, these are rather weak divisions on the top in the north and south here in the city. Look at that. Didn't even hurt us. All right. So I hop across and I do the same thing over here. Good. Didn't cost us anything. What do we got in here? 93. Can't attack him with anything yet, but we'll have the Romanians to, to at least take this side of the river and we can move the rest of 17th Army here, these divisions across, to surround the city. No. Used all our energy crossing the river. Alright, it's not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, uh, Let's get the light infantry out. Uh, okay. I was hoping they could go here, but they can't. They can't even occupy this hex, which would be nice. I'm just going to leave them alone. Yeah. Yeah, those could only go south, right? Um, so why I like moving units one at a time is you get different options. All right. A little more spread out than I'd like to be with the Romanians, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Nothing's going to come in and attack us here. I really don't have much else. Let's see, I need to make that move. So, just to review. Far south, I'm pretty happy with. I don't want to do anything else with. These will be the, the anvil the hammer is struck against when it comes from the east. Uh, it could be 17th Army. It could be 1st Panzer when they get down there. I'm not sure yet. All well, those poor Hungarian cavalry. They did not have a good time of it. This I'm happy about. There could be a breakout, particularly if this gets attacked by these guys. I kind of want to attack, but I just don't have the strength. And I never did. <laughs> so, it was never good enough. Can't, can't pursue here. I want to get 4th backed up. 4th Army moved back to uh, Briansk line, basically. Um, with this river and further back. But 2nd Army's got to finish the job down here. This is still kind of a mess. Our uh, readiness levels are not terrible here, but their entrenchment is. I don't know. Let's see what happens. We outnumber them. I have gotten a bloody nose doing this a few times, but it worked out in our favor this time. Okay. No, I was going to leave that as a hole for them to come back into. Yeah, 
Yeah, we probably don't know anything about them. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't see the point in crossing the swamps and this river here. And they will freeze over, though, as the winter comes. So there is that. Uh, almost got this stuff surrounded this headquarters here and that um we very much did so here it's just not an attack i'm willing to make the the numbers don't make sense all right let's look at our our issues okay division commendation we know we're gonna fight for that no problem scheduling Okay, who is, this is the unhappiness again. Uh, who's got the higher score? Plus 30, plus 39, General Wagner. Let's start with that. Minus nine, plus eight, okay. And then we'll do the reverse and ask General Gurkha to deal with it in the south. And of course, we got a bad outcome. Okay. But our numbers weren't hurt too bad. In fact, I think we're a little ahead. <laughs> All right, airfield. Uh, definitely want to move that to Luga. So we're moving We're moving the supply base to Luga as well. Kind of, kind of want to wait a turn. Oh, look at that. The little choo-choo trains are going right there. It's already at Luga. Uh, Oh, we're not being asked. Okay. Army Group Center. I think we leave it where it is at Viasma. Army Group South. Karivagrog, Odessa. No, I think I said we should wait until last week when I was recording. Um, we get across. Oop, way too high. Um... So we're using Kiev as our air base, our forward supply base is at Cherkasy here. Uh, I'm, I probably want to move it to Pavlograd once we take it. We don't have it yet. It's, it will be ours fairly soon. I mean, <laughs> look. <laughs> uh, but for the moment, I think everything's fine. And let's advance the plot. I'm gonna get texted here. Yeah, they're running away from that city. Oh, interesting. They're not helping their entrapped brethren around Second Army. They backed off. Hmm. Uh, I want to thank my 50th subscriber for this channel, Ian. Appreciate you. <laughs> great. I mean, I grew this channel from, you know, half a dozen people or something like that from the old channel who had been watching previous playthroughs, and uh, now I feel like we're actually getting somewhere. 11 decisions are, are requiring our attention, okay. Oops, that went by too fast, because I was very interested in saving. Savings. Yeah, it's definitely turned 30. Ooh. It's about a 50 turn game, I think, something like that. So we're uh, well over halfway through now. I'm going to record a couple turns because I'm excited about um, Leningrad. Let's see here. Leningrad captured. Yeah, he's super excited. Oh, now we're now we're buds. Now we're strong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, meteorological report. Still decent. We've been very lucky with weather <laughs> this playthrough. I must say. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why did you do that? Why? I think what they... Like, trying to protect the headquarters, maybe? I don't know. I think it was very dumb of them to do that, but... 
whatever. We'll have a look at that. Um, this looks like it's about to get surrounded and fall. They did not take the bait and come back to the theater border here. This is still entrapped. They did not try and attack our 6th Army sleepers. Um, looks like we'll be able to get out of here pretty soon with 1st Panzer. And uh, very happy with what's going on over here. Um, they have, I mean, they probably had these guys there in the first place. 90, it's not much. Um, and then we can get to work with sealing off everybody <laughs> in here in this pocket and then just crushing them. That'll be fun. And the road to Rostov is open. So pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Uh, I just want to look at cards and see if there's anything weird. We still have that high octane fuel card to play if we want. Stats. Ooh, look at it, look at it, look at it. I am grinding them into the dust. <laughs> I feel pretty good about that. So we're almost a double. Uh, the strength in the field here, which is really interesting. Fuel, we've got problems um, in uh, Army Group South and Army Group North. We know that. We know that. The relationships are good, even with Braukic. She's a plus nine now. Woo. <laughs> Political points have gone through the roof because I'm doing my job. Again, without listening to the directorate. Not interested. Uh, trains are alright. Trucks. We're going to have to do something in Army Group South here if we haven't already. That's apparent. Uh, what's going on in Liftwaffe North? I don't know. And the weather uh, has bounced back a little bit. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to play another turn. I will see you in uh, two or three days. But for me, it's going to be mere seconds. I don't know if you caught the podcast last time. Uh, I had a discussion, a geopolitical discussion with uh, um, the guy who was the past uh, Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Electronic Warfare <gasps> and also past DARPA Program Manager. I think I should apply to be a DARPA Program Manager. I know so many of them, it seems like you just show up and say, here's what I want to do to help the United States. And if you got a good idea that fits with theirs, then you're in, right? Uh, well, we talked about deterrence and communication, uh, comparing the 19th century concert of Europe versus the China-U.S. situation today and how we could stop an unnecessary war that nobody really wants. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. If you know somebody who would like this, please share it with them. Uh, otherwise, you know, Leave a like, leave a comment. I want to hear what you guys think. See you later.